What's going on, man? This is Jay Ellis from the Nick of Time Show giving you that Knicks talk. Um, here to talk about this Knicks Wizards game and to clarify some things. You know what? I usually do these type of videos on Instagram, one minute short form type videos, but I'm gonna switch it up right now. I'm gonna do some YouTube stuff. Um, so here's my thing. Um, the the last game I talked about embracing the tank. The Knicks played the 76ers. And we lost, we didn't have no KP, and we kind of fell apart. And then I was like, embrace the tank. Hug the tank, love the tank, ride the tank. It's all about the tank right now, right? Let me clarify some things, though. When I say embrace the tank, I'm not saying I want to lose. The Knicks aren't giving me any choice but to embrace the tank. I'm not cheering for my team to lose. But I have to mentally prepare myself to watch them lose because they lost eight straight just now. They don't look like they're coming out of the doldges. They don't look like they're trying to fight for a playoff spot. It just is what it is right now. For me to be sane, I have to embrace the tank because right now I'm looking at a team and I don't expect them to win. I, I don't. So it's, it's, a cope, it's a coping thing, really. It's like when you were, when you were in a... When you go to psychologists or something, you have, or you have mental issues, you have coping mechanisms, you drink. My coping mechanism is looking at the tank. And like, you know what? We're going to get, we're going to get a top pick anyway. I might as well just embrace the tank because cheering for this team right now is, is just kind of useless. I mean, at least for right now. But if you're looking at the future, we, we got somebody to pair with KP. For the first time in a long time, we have our picks. No one's trading him away for pieces. No Phil Jackson stuff happening in the beginning of the year. No Isaiah Thomas trading our picks for, for some craziness. We have all our picks this year. And we can probably get a Miles Bridges or something like that. Right? So that's what I'm talking about. When I say embrace the tank, I'm just saying, Knicks ain't giving me no damn choice. It is what it is. We're losing. I got to make myself happy, damn it. I got to still record podcasts every week. And talk to the next people on Instagram, Twitter, blah, 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 blah. Embrace the damn tank. Now, um, this Wizards game, Timmy was going on his crazy slump. Uh, he was like, hit four three-pointers in the last... It was, it was ridiculous. Timmy busts out his slump, right? 27-point lead in the third quarter. Somehow, someway, the Knicks... Found the new creative way to look. It's really impressive if you really think about it. They lost. They had a 27-point lead in the third quarter. And they blew it. With three minutes to go. In the third, they were losing. Look. How does that happen? How? How? How, Sway? How? How does that happen? How do you lose 27 points in eight minutes? The Wizards, you know, the Wizards saw that Hardaway was getting off. They started the double Hardaway. They started putting the pressure on him. And no one body really stepped up. After that, um, granted too, Hardaway didn't really make smart decisions in that third quarter. Um, he threw the ball away a few times. But then it seems like he started getting used to it a little bit and he and needed somebody to score. And when he passed it out to Beasley, the walking bucket, the walking bucket was the walking break that game. Because he wasn't hitting nothing until the last court, the last minute when the game was out of reach. It didn't matter. I'm just it was the Knicks don't know how to win. They don't know how to close games. They don't know how to hold leads. And it's the same old problem. Embrace the tank. But you know what? It's that it's 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 cool. It's not cool. It's it's embarrassing, and I'm tired of the team saying it's embarrassing every game. Every week they say it's embarrassing, but they're not really embarrassed enough because they keep doing the same thing. How embarrassed are you to keep doing the same thing? I I don't get it. I, something has to change. Um, but I'm not even that. That's not even the only thing I'm pissed about. Frank comes in here and gets 10 minutes a game. Jack is over here. He gets 30 minutes. I don't understand why Jack is getting 30 minutes at this point. I know Jeff came out and said that um, that's going to change. And we're going to... 
I don't know. I feel like it was what Jack's last hurrah. Was that what Jeff? Was that what Jeff was doing? He just wanted Jack to get the last minutes just so he could feel good because he because he knew he wasn't getting minutes after the All Star break. But it's it's whatever, man. I'm kind of I'm, I'm disappointed in the team, but I'm also kind of hopeful that we know what we have all our picks. We need to get right this ship before KP comes back next season, so we he knows he has something to fight for. And we can actually build off of something from one season to another. So, you know, uh, that's all I really have to say about this game. R really, the, our defense still kind of sucks. Um, the Wizards responded by doubling Hardaway in that third quarter. And it was more of a team effort on team defense. But for some reason, we didn't have that same effort when Bill was going off. Or, or when their, their point guard was going off, breaking down the defense. It wasn't even Wall. It was... It was a whose man's is this moment. Like, who is this guy? Who is this guy? This second stringer, Kastrick. Uh, I don't remember his name at the moment, but it's like he was. They mad, They had him looking like John Wall. He had two blocks on Jack going to the hole. So, I don't know, man. I'm going to win it back. I'm going to just be like, embrace the damn tank. We get in the bridges. Maybe. It, it seems like it's going to be very hard for us to get into a top. 10 pick situation, I mean a top 3, top 5 pick situation, so I wouldn't hold your breath on that, because there's a lot of sucky teams out here we gotta beat out, that's been sucking way longer than we have, we decided to suck after Christmas, and so you know, other teams got a head start on us, so we, I don't think we're getting a top 3 pick, but you know what, Miles Bridges is looking real good, hitting game winners, dunking on people, getting chased down blocks, I'm liking what I've seen from him, and that's what I'm having dreams of right now, man, I'm just having dreams of a complete team, Next season with KP back, Miles Bridges, Frank developing, if Jeff really decides to do that, and getting some minutes alongside against Moutier. We'll see. We'll see how Moutier does. Um, yeah, I wasn't sure about him this game. Uh, his shot looks really crazy from, from um, the three-point line, and his layups are really iffy. But hmm. you know what? It doesn't matter. I'm embracing the tank. If you, if you like this video, uh, check out the podcast, man. The podcast is even crazier because I have my, my podcast mates interacting with me. Uh, the Nick of Time Podcast.com is a website or a SoundCloud. You can go to SoundCloud, the Nick of Time, SoundCloud.com slash the Nick of Time Podcast. Jay Ellis, peace.